Now to the rally for a recording artist, Kevin Ambiance, beaten up by a group of thugs. Yeah, today hundreds of people marched from one side of Manhattan to the other. Fox Side's Mark Doyella has more from the West Village. Well, it's been a week since the hate-driven attack on a well-known performer that left him hospitalized and ultimately gained national headlines. Well, that has also brought out a big crowd today of people who say that kind of hate will simply not be tolerated. We want justice! Now! Marchers gathering this afternoon at the East Village intersection where a group of men attacked singer and drag queen Kevin Aviance. The incident leaving Aviance with a broken jaw, now wired. But he still joined the march today to Christopher Street, he says, to send a message. They're never going to take my parent away. They can't take my spirit. They can beat me up, they can knock me down, they can put me in the street. They cannot take my spirit away. Marchers say the attack on a well-known artist who's worked with some of music's best-known names has helped draw attention to a crime they say is still all too common. There are people being bashed every weekend in New York City, and it doesn't get brought to attention, and the people don't go to jail for the amount of time they're meant to. Look at who's here today in the village. Hundreds of people out on a beautiful day right before the Pride Parade telling everybody who will listen that we're not going to tolerate these bullies who think they can come into neighborhoods and attack innocent people. The march meant to coincide with the start of the city's annual celebration of gay pride, an event that Kevin Aviance expected to sing at. Instead, he'll be there with his jaw wired shut, but he says his spirit intact. For him to come out and have that courage, it's really something. Police have made four arrests in the attack on Kevin Aviance. Meanwhile, he says it will be another four months at the earliest before his jaw is unwired and he can once again perform. In the West Village, Mark Joyella, Fox 5 News. A